actually, I, you know, feel confident hmm. enough to speak up. So I guess in a way, yeah. you're in, a, in line. During the, you know, the pandemic going online, you know, with the state of life more than mm -hmm. any other time. So um, I felt as though when I was online, a lot of the men were trying to give their emotion and it wasn't being too welcome. Um, so it was kind of like, in my feelings, it was more like this guy is speaking. He wants to say something, not sure if it's time, if anybody's ready um, or cares to hear, but he's speaking, he's still feeling heavy. Mm -hmm. He's never said, you know, he's either wide open, awake, alert, um, available to talk, but he's just speaking to see when that time will come. And um, the colors are still warm and welcoming enough. so angry and I, that tear will come. Yeah. Is, that a, is that a tear? Yeah, yeah, it's a tear. Because you're fighting it and it's like, yeah. I'm fighting that, that yeah. anger. Because yeah. if I do or say what I want to do or say, mm -hmm. then I'm going to lose this job. That's a human resources <laughs> problem right there. <laughs> so, <laughs> so remembering <laughs> who I am, Africa. Yeah, and yeah, for sure. She so matches my earrings. And, and yeah. I, like, you know. That's, I, I think of the historical side, you know, four, 400 years of slave, more so, that at one point in time, it, it was the kingdom, freedom, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the voices were welcome. They were a different tone, a different dialect. But now it's a fight and a fire to be uh, erupted in order to be heard. So it's like yeah. almost awakening a volcano. <laughs> yeah. 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 Just like when we were for, first. I'm for sure. I, 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 I'm sure there is, and it's still slavery going on more than likely, but mm -hmm. um, the 400 years slavery now is talked about more frequently than it had been. It used to be such a hush tone. Don't mm -hmm. tell anybody the history of uh, America, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it was, you know, the, it's trending, unfortunately. It's a trending term of 400 years of a 600 year, thousand year fight um, to be a skin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a skin and a ritual of mankind. Um, and this one is similar to what you had already been saying, where it's like, I don't really care what is going on. I'm feeling myself. I'm in my skin. I'm mm -hmm. happy. And I am loving myself. Yeah. Whatever is going on beyond this wall is beautiful to me because I am confident within myself. I don't care what they're saying, what they're saying, what they're saying, what they're doing or how they're doing it, I am going to be fine and I'm gonna go through it. And I'm so amazing about it. And I um, wanted to use the you know colors that are still warm but vibrant enough where you feel that happiness that you know coming from is really nice to you. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. You know, yeah, those those lips in here, you know, you're watching those more chestnut movies and mm -hmm. like that's what it means. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. But um, so um, that's that's really how I invoke it. It's not more chestnut. I don't want to paint him because I wouldn't sell it, you know. <laughs> I wouldn't sell it. Exactly. <laughs> but um, this one was kind of like he's still kind of sexy and um, you know, milk dad. He's you know. Feel you feel. I feel like you feel him in a warm and welcome way. That you know you're like he's confident and okay. 
with himself. You know, a lot of times people will say, oh, I'm dark skin and I don't like my skin or, you know, they don't make me feel good in my skin. Whereas this man is like, I'm the bomb. <laughs> Fuck all that. I am your Hershey chocolate bar and you'll love me forever because I love myself. And um, he has a higher self-esteem more so. That's the storyline between the emotions of them. <laughs> we'll see. When he goes over there, they're just like the elders of it all, just giggling, like, I haven't been through it, you know, the, the Native American man. He's like, ah, how you feel? I was thinking that. Whatever. Try me. He just wanted, like, ah, you know, I'm the bomb. Yeah. And then he just give a, a story for you all to share within yourselves on how you felt um, and what you might see for the next one. Um, you know, keeping a happiness and wrapping it in a happiness kind of or you know, you want someone else that only has a, has a full mouth with no teeth, bottom row, <laughs> <laughs> uplifting or not. But I, I want to be one to be more elder men who have triumphantly went through it all and are still being capable of watching the new stories come and have a different version of it, you know. Like, oh, see, you know, the whole hundred years ago, this wasn't even here, stories. I remember the Broadway Theater that used to be in that building that's now smoke shot. You know, like, those kinds of stories are totally different from their era of what they've gone through and we've all gone through a different history of goods and that. But um, the way I guess we feel them are giggly, I think, to some of the ancestors that are still around to share out. <laughs> like, oh, you think that was tough? I used to buy it. My dad used to say, Brady used to be a nickel and you bitch it. <laughs> so, so, you know, like stuff like that. Um, it was totally different if you talk to an elder, they have a different mindset on what a struggle was in comparison. They think we have it easy. <laughs> and, um, but we, we're breaking it, I think. So um, I wanted to, you know, this, this statement gives them the flowers by the year. They're not people that I know. <laughs> but give them the flowers by the year. Um, my, my, well, I'm just finding out my mom's side of the family. We're also native, but my dad's side of the family are definitely still me. They still wear their braids. So yeah, I connected to that from my own um, paternal group. And it, and it just, oh, I just like them. I, I like that um, realness of, you know, your age and you might just lose some more teeth. Mm -hmm. And you still show them. <laughs> 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 that kind of idea is fun to me. Um, my grandma used to say, don't get no china parts. My dad has their TV. I, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> just pull them out. Just with her, you know, not in the area right off the tee. But he would just like, sure, he's from China. I could tell you the serial numbers. <laughs> just messing around. But those kind of elder stories always hook me. Mm -hmm. And I, I wanted to connect some. Only, you know, for me, because I have a large body. It's smaller art, because I don't live here. I don't know how old <laughs> He would tell you they're small, but they're women. So I figured, I'm going to go big. I'm going to give it a big one to the men, especially because Alvin has been supportive and told me to get bigger <laughs> with my pink first lifestyle. And I definitely get to keep it right. This is the outcome of my one brother coming in the last time, telling me to go bigger. <laughs> I'm bigger in commission. <laughs> so that's the story of the pink thing. And you look, you know, about these. The, um, the Bethel burial ground mm -hmm. um, that was unearthed in the Queen area, Queen South Queen South area. Um, the city, city of Philadelphia wanted to give a memorial artistically, so I was one of the collective artists who created um, six church stands. And when they made their margin, they put one line stand on it.